Hello everyone, Mixfant Gaming here. Welcome to my channel, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some rage and tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. Today's episode, we're doing my chest openings. I actually had done a couple this month, and I just combined them all together into a video. I'm just putting this preamble on in front of it because I made a little bit of a mistake, and so I just want to apologize to everybody. Uh, well, actually, I don't really want to call one of them as a mistake, but there's two things I want to mention. First off, I'm sorry, I actually went on a tangent a little bit in one of the videos, went on a bit of a rant about the leech, but so I just want to apologize for that. And the second, the second clip that I put together for my chest openings for the end of the month, I had forgotten I had the music playing. So usually when I record, I shut off the in-game music, but I just want to apologize. I forgot to do that this time. And usually when I'm playing, I don't have any sound or music playing, so I didn't notice it while I was recording. And unfortunately, there was quite a bit of in-game music. I've tried to soften it as much as I can. At least it's, a, it's only a chess opening video and it's not actual gameplay. But again, I just wanted to apologize because I believe the first clip has no music, but the second clip does. So without that, uh, uh, sorry, excuse me. With that being said, let's get into the clips of my chest openings for this month of October. We're going to start with my chest openings. I've just recently received enough to get a super chest, so I'm going to open that now. And I'm going to probably leave my keys where they are. I haven't quite decided yet what I'm going to do with my keys. Uh, if we look at them briefly right here now you'll see I have 1,500 keys. I could open a gold chest. Uh, however, I'm not sure if I'm going to do gold chests this month. Yes, no, the gold chest is the best value for, for most people, and it is for me, typically. However, I need five storms and two gusts to finish getting some of, some of the weapons I need to change up for some of my bots. And I, with the storms being 2,500 apiece and the gusts 2,000 apiece, that is a total of, let me see, 12,500 plus four. So 16,500 gold I would need to spend to get those weapons. And I don't want to spend that much. So I'll decide at the end of the month when I have all my keys saved up if I want to chance trying to go for those storms and the gusts in the silver chest. I, I can't show you right now because I have to choose my silver chest before I get to the... You know, so yeah, I have to have to run my super chest here before I can even look at the uh, silver chest. But I think there's something like 20 or 25 items in that entire chest. So really the odds are not with me to get a single gust or even a single storm. So that's like 2 out of 25 chance. So that's, you're basically looking at only like a what maybe a, a eight seven or eight percent chance to get something so i'll see it, it all depends on how bad i want them but I, I i do want them and i want to have four gusts in the event i actually ever get a leech now that brings me to my first point here the leech i try not to be too negative on this game i have my opinions and i'll say what i think whether i believe it's a good idea or not but excuse me for a minute while i just rant and rage about the leech Pixonic, what the hell are you doing? The Ares was bad enough. It was OP. You've released OP bot after OP bot. The Algen was OP. The Ares was OP. The Phantom is borderline OP. And then you release the Leech. The Leech isn't OP. The Leech is freaking broken. Like, come on. There, there are clans out there who run, who actually in their kind of description say they require somebody to have a hangar full of leeches. I've run against leeches, and one on one, as long as your, your teammates aren't shooting the bloody thing, you, you can outmaneuver it and you can take it on. But the second there's two or three leeches of the enemy on the field at the same time, you're looking around and you have absolutely nothing to shoot at because you can't shoot at anything. If they're all using their leech ability, you're sitting there out in the open, or even if you're behind cover, it doesn't seem to matter because somebody's, especially if there's multiples on, on the field, somebody's going to shoot them and you're going to die. I just got out of a match here where one single leech destroyed four of my bots. And unfortunately for me, being in Masters 3 running Mark 1 
bots and Mark I weapons, I am very often put up against Champion League players with max stuff, and there's been times where I've gone up against players that have three maxed out leeches, just one single player. And God forbid there's those times where I actually go against a full squad of Champion League players as part of a complete team of randoms. We just get our butts handed to us. The leech is utterly broken, and what I don't understand from Pixonic, they've never done it, is why don't you balance things when they become a problem? They let them go on so long that it literally breaks the game, and this is probably the worst one I've seen. You look at other games out there. For those who may or may not be familiar with, there's a game called Clash Royale, where every month they do balance changes or they introduce new cards. And what do they do if something is becoming too powerful? They do what's called an emergency nerf. That's right. If something is looks to be too powerful, even two, one week, two weeks after making the balance changes, they will nerf the card because they want a balanced game. Pixonic, you need to run a balanced game. This is absolutely ridiculous what you've done with the leech and the pattern you have had over the last six to eight months of releasing these OP bots. And if you do the same with the release of the Titans, you are going to drive so many people out of this game. I, I try not to get on Facebook too much because there's just so much toxic, toxicity there. And to be perfectly honest, I can't blame a lot of the players. Yes, there are people out there who say, well, you just have to suck it up. It's a game. Have fun. And sure, I'm having, I'm having fun, but I do get frustrated sometimes because of usually one single bot or a, a bunch of people running this, the same bot. It really should be a balanced game. And if something is deemed or shown to be extremely powerful and completely dominant in the game, it should be balanced in reduced in stats or nerfed in some way, shape, or form, or buff other weapons or buff other bots to come up to that stature. You look at the leech, it not not only does it have 90% resistance, the highest resistance of anything in the game, it has four medium weapon slots, which is the most powerful combination you can have. This is why Spectre up until now was the only one that had the four slots, because it was so powerful. The, the, balance, the weapons themselves are not balanced. There, Manny did a, an awesome side-by-side -side comparison of various light weapons to medium weapons and medium weapons to, high, to heavy weapons. And very often than not, sometimes the light weapons outperform the medium and the high weapons altogether based off of a duration and time damage. And the same thing can be said for medium weapons. Four storms versus... Somebody running, say, an Ao Jun with uh, two Thunders or two uh, Glories <laughs> does a heck of a lot more damage using the four Storms. So that's why you see a lot of people run, for instance, running four Storms on a Leech. And to, to, to even illustrate that point further, I yesterday, I believe it was, Islander put in a video where he ran free-for-all. And his mentality about running the Leech, he doesn't use a special ability. Only when he's going against some beefy tank like a, a Fenrir or a Falcon, I think he said, maybe even an Invader. But other than that, in Free For All, he doesn't run the ability, and he's still getting five or six kills with at least just because of the weapon layout. Pixonic, wake up and smell the coffee. This, this is broken. If you want the Leech to be able to send 35% of its damage to another player, Here's what you should do to balance it. The leech should not have 90% reduction in damage. What it should have is 35% resistance, and every single damage it resists gets reflected back either to the enemy or whoever you pick. That, to me, would be a little bit more balanced. It still wouldn't be completely balanced because four medium weapons is a heck of a lot of firepower. But at least you can... You can deal with it. You, you know the, the leech only has a 35% resistance. And to make matters worse with the leech, you have players out there who completely troll. They will see a leech, especially if they're having a really bad day or a player has really annoyed them. 
uh, a teammate of theirs. If they see a leech lock onto that player, they purposely shoot the leech so that they can damage their teammate. This whole mentality of being able to reflect damage and pick your target, it's, it, it's bad for the game, and Pixonic was warned in the test server about this. They, they, in, they reduced the range, or sorry, increased the range for 350 on, meters on the test server for the leech ability up until 500 meters. It was a surprise change. A lot of people on the test server, when it was originally put in place, it was 600 meters. They said, no, that's way too far. And instead, they reduce it to 350 meters. That's what we thought was going to be when it goes live. And lo and behold, Pixonic does a switcheroo on us and ups it to 500 meters. Not that it really matters. A lot of times when you're leached by a, a player running a leech, it's under 350 meters anyways. So, but anyways, sorry for that long rant. I basically just wanted to say a little thing and I kind of got caught off guard here. Now it's about 10 minutes into the video. So, okay, that's my opinion of it. I've said my piece. Hopefully, Pixani might even hear about this or somehow word gets them and they do the right thing and do an emergency le le uh, nerf, an emergency rebalance of the leech because it is, in my opinion, breaking the game. It's not just OP, it's breaking the game. Anyways, let's get into this. Let's go for Super Chest. I hope I get a leech. Just because, as you can tell, I'm sick and tired of being the only one on the field without a leech. So here we go. Fingers crossed. I did get lucky twice in a row. Last month, I won a phantom and I got it. And this time, I'd like to get a leech, see what happens. So here we go. Three, two, one. Let's pray. Where are we going to land? Come on, give me something good. Aljun. Damn it. Uh, I... I I have a Deathwing Aojun, now I have this Aojun, and I had been working on Aojun a little bit in my workshop, and I was only 1,500 components away from it. So anyways, so yay, I got an Aojun. All right, well, it is what it is. So we'll leave it here for now, and we will... Yeah, we will see what comes out of this. Uh, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to wait on the, the keys, and we'll see at the end of the month what I decide whether I want to go for the silver chest to try to get some storms and gusts, or I'll go for the gold chest. So I'll be right back with the rest of my chest openings. Well, everybody, it's the end of the month. Time to do some more chest openings here. Uh, a couple things to note. First, I hope this records because I've been having issues with my recording software lately and I'll start the recording and the next thing I know it will have crashed on me and I have had absolutely no idea that it crashed. I've lost quite a few games and test server videos because of it. So fingers crossed this works out well. Now, what am I going after here? Well, I think I have enough keys that it should get me to a second super chest for the month. Ideally, I, I think, I've, well, I think everybody wants a leech. It's the next OP premium bot. And the only thing is, I don't have any weapons to put on it. So, of course, this is me talking, expecting I'm going to get a leech, which chances are I probably won't. But anyways, it looks like I have three shots at it in the gold chest and another shot at it in the black market. Now, if we do happen to get it from the gold chest here, well, let's just look at what's in the gold chest. What's in here? So, typical weapons... And so the, the leech right there is still there. Okay. So the question I have for myself, because what I think I want to put on a leech are four storms, if I do happen to get one. I don't have four storms. And the only way to get any storms is by opening up the silver chest, unless you want to pay 2,500 gold a piece, which I really don't want to pay the gold. But I'll have to make that decision if and when it comes. I, I, the, really, the prizes in the silver chest suck. And if all I'm after for is storms, chances are I won't get any. But to start with, let's just go with the gold chest. And if I happen to get a leech, then I'm going to have to make a decision here what I'm going to do. So here we go. First gold chest, fingers crossed. As Islander says, a quick prayer to the Pisonic gods. And here we go. Where are we going to stop? Oh, damn it. Uh, 1,000 gold, or at least that's go, can go towards some storms if I get any. Here we go. One, another time. Number two. 
Where are we going to land? And looks like it's 10 million silver. I'd much rather have that than 2,000 leash components. I don't want components at all. Okay, so I have my super chest. All right, let's go into here and see what we can get. Super chest, where are we going to land? Come on, get, at least give me something I don't have. No! Ah, uh, I already have a Fenrir. I don't want a second one. I would even have taken the behemoth since I don't have a behemoth. Uh, out of here, I wanted either the Loki or the, the uh, not the Phantom, the Loki or the Leech. Those are the two bots I really wanted out of the super chest. Of course, I get a Fenrir. It's pulls of the same bot. And I really sometimes do need silver, so I might end up actually have to sell that for silver. We'll see. All right, well, this is going to be the last chance for a leech. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Where are we going to land? No, we're not going to get it. We're going to get a Hussar. Uh, I don't really want to use the Hussars. Not that they're not a bad weapon. I just don't have any interest in them. Well, looks like the, the chest openings this month kind of, well, kind of sucked for me. I know the last people out there who would love to have a Fenrir, and I don't blame them. I do like my friend Rear, but I just don't want to run two of them. Well, I, I guess I'm going to have to try and get a leech next month because I'm so sick and tired of going against max champion players running multiple leeches. And there's very little I can do about it. When you're going into a match and you have multiple leeches on the field, you don't even know where to shoot. And I can't hide. I don't have last stand. So there's not much I can do and I don't have anti-control. So here I am, Masters 3, Mark 1, bots and weapons. And more often than not, there are several players on enemy team that are maxed out Champion League players, upper Champion League players, I should say. And I just don't stand a chance. I try to play the honor points game and try to get as many honor points and bonuses as I can to at least finish in the top three. But... To actually be competitive, no, oh, I'm very rarely competitive anymore, just because of matchmaking. And that's one of the biggest beefs I have in this game is matchmaking, but that's another story. At some point in the future here, probably not too distant future, I'm going to put in a video of what I feel are my top 10 things that need to be fixed in the game. And I tend to probably going to focus more on the top 10 quick fixes, because there are quite a few things in the game that really do need to be fixed, but... Have, we have been told, or at least alluded to, by developers that they're not easy for the development. Now, I do work in the industry, so I do know my way around coding and what can and can't be done. So this will be my view of some quick fixes that I don't think is too onerous on developers to actually fix. Anyways, but that is my chest opening video for the month. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give me that thumbs up, leave any comments below, and until next time, cause some mayhem on the field for me.